guys, I'm Kiri, and today we are playing Hand of Fate! I got to check this out at PAX, and I am so excited for the Hand of Fate 2 game. That's the one I got to play, not this one. But I got a super awesome free game code, and then I lost the super awesome free game code, and then I complained about losing the game code on Twitter, and they gave me one because they're amazing. I love you guys. Best game developer Twitter account ever. So, we are gonna hop right in and see what the first one is all about because I am super totally stoked to be playing all the things. So. Ah, one more for the game. Yeah. Final Come, journey. Sit. Oh, I don't get you that yet. You have passed the 13 gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Uh, you're creepy. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. That's nice. Yet, I say, turn back. I don't want it. Jack of Dust. I saw that card. That card looks cool. That card's cool, bro. We're going to lower the volume on the game just a teeny bit because it's really loud. Really loud game. Is also really loud in my ears. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. Well, clearly I get to live because I'm super cute. So hang on a sec. Let's let's muck about. Muck about in the settings. Uh, audio. Let's turn the music down. Don't get me wrong. I love love music entirely too loud. We're going to turn subtitles on so you guys don't have to depend on my reading. Cool. Graphics. Cool. Quality beautiful. The super beautiful. Graphics. Okay. Clearly English because I don't speak other languages well. Um, no. Don't delete the progress. Tech indicators. Red. Oh, can I change it? Can it be purple? No. No, it cannot. So, could you guys put, like, purple in there? That'd be great. I don't really care if it's, like, good or bad, but, like, purple would be great. Spider on. I don't think I want that. I don't know what that is, though, so I don't know if I should touch it. Okay. Woo! Resume. Uh, okay. Continue. Why not? Ooh, Jack Here's of Here's the first member of my court. The Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. Oh. Yeah, I can take that guy. That guy looks fine. The bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. In the ruins of an ancient temple among the eternally shifting sand dunes. La what is- wait, was that a spider? Was that a spider on the side of the screen? Now I don't know. Okay. Uh, desert bandits, right. Infamous for his reign of terror over any spice caravans that bear that dare take their chances traveling through his domain, he rules as a king over the barren lands. Well, you know, guy, I can kick your butt. It's fine. I got this. I swear to God I saw a spider on the side of the screen. Like, in the game, not, like, in my house. Let the cards fall where they may. We begin. So, I kind of love that I got, like, this cool little, like, you know, me and Tabby were playing this, and uh, the lady at the booth was so kind to tell me what all of the stuff on the screen means. And so, you see the bottom in the lower left-hand corner? Um, and then the food, and... And... Did I say... I don't... I'm losing track of what I'm saying. Oh, see it is! There's a spider! Look at that! On the left! No spider! No! No! Not today! Holy crap! Okay. Choose your next card. So, I get to move through this like it's a dungeon, so I have to pay attention to my health and my food and my gold. Every time... I was time, never a fan of illusion or pretense. Every Here, time you I'll go to a card... Exception. 
you have to spend a food to do so. Um, and then my gold, I can buy cool stuff. And then my health, right? I don't want to die. So, uh, Mr. Lionel. I think I want to drink with that guy. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice he appears to be a goblin, poorly disguised as a human. His wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure your heart's desire. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Um, I'm a girl dungeoneer. That's me. Heart's desire with his wizarding with this wizarding wand of my own creation. That sounds super safe. Um he cackles uncontrollably a few moments, then sits patiently waiting for your answer. So, one, give him the bread from your plate. Two, I cannot pick because I don't have 20 gold. Three, ask him what he needs. Or four, ignore the goblin. I feel like he's probably short. I could maybe elbow him in the face. Because he tapped me aggressively. Do not boop me! Ask him what he needs. Uh, what do you want? That one. Need? I need to help you. Mr. Lionel taps the staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a warm grin that reveals all his chipped and yellowed teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one equipment card. Well, that seems nice. Reflect. Shields with this trait allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. This must be performed with precise timing as the projectile draws near. Press Y to reflect projectiles. Look for the green indicator above the hero's head. Sweet! Look at that! Look at those indicators! Blah, 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 blah. Right out of his brain. I like it. Just like that. Blah, blah, blah. If you didn't know, that that is how indicators noise. That's how they noise. Weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter their foe's attacks. Look for the green attack indicators above foes. Press Y button to counter. Cool. I could do that. You can I now reflect your opponent's ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Okie dokie. Uh, then... Before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a pickled onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. See, I'm glad I didn't give him any bread, because he just jacked my onion. Is that shield gonna break? Is he gonna be not nice to me? Okay, so we're gonna go up. Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. I don't know where I wanna go. Down the stairs. Uh, let's take the stairs, why not? <laughs> You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Your journey is well begun. This is what I was looking I'm for. I'm a squire now. You show some aptitude for the game. Yes. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. Your super nice booth chick totally helped me out. <laughs> Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Nah. Looks fine. Do it. While crossing the ancient rope bridges of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It better not be that spider! It's an ambush! Draw one monster card. Ooh, two of dust. I love the tarot feeling in this game. So fun. Plus, like, D&D, &D, plus, like, I don't know, all of the stuff. You get all of the stuff in this game. It's so cool. I'm so excited. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at me getting all equipped and junk. I want to be a girl! You can now counter your opponent's Whoa. attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. That's a lot of buttons to press. Ah, uh, okay. Counter, stun, dodge. Attack. Move. I got you. Oh yeah! Look at me attacking and countering. Oh, snap. Boom! Get wrecked. Oh, off the cliff. What? Ah, there's spiders. There's spiders. Oh, my God. Okay, I can't even right now. Uh, you recover what you can. I got distracted by all the spiders creeping everywhere. I'm freaking out right now. You recover what you can from the dead. The dealer draws you three gain cards. Okay. Oh. 
draw one. I'm sure you're equipment. grateful for that. I am grateful for that. Thank you very much to me for killing the things. Uh, Domicles? During combat, press right bumper. I always get the bumper and the trigger mixed up when I'm, like, poking the controller. Right bumper to throw knives in eight cardinal directions. Awesome. Artifacts provide powerful special abilities to use in combat, but it takes time to ready them. Oh. Okay. Gain three food. I like that. Boom. Good fortune. Gain 25 gold. Sweet. That card. A winding An trail. Ambush. Hardly fair, is it? Why are you trying to ambush me, guy? Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Bum, bum, bum. Am I fighting the same guys again? Talk the cowardly band for daring to threaten you. You shout a battle cry and raise your weapon. Wah! Death unto you! That's how I feel about that. Boom. Shield. Snap. Look at that axe. Oh yeah. Whatever that just was. Artifact. Okay. Didn't this take a minute? Is that what he said? Oh. I imagine this is not gonna stay like slow mo forever. Like, I feel like I'm on easy mode right now. It's a dragonfly! Just wanna poke the dragonfly. Poke it! Poke it! Search the bodies for loot, draw one equipment card. Boom! Sword. 23 damage. Uh, Rusty Axe gives 20 damage, so clearly, yes. A moment to savor. That will make you much more effective. Well, thank you. I'm already pretty darn effective as is. Ooh, I get to go shopping. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking for trade with wandering adventurers. Looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Okay, general shops offer a range of items and healing, but at prices a little higher than usual. Ah, uh, that's a precious shop. Let's see what happens. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Well, thank you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. Ooh, girl. We're starting to I'm get into the shopping. meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Cool. Okay, buy items. I have a shield. Don't need that. Axe. Why are you asking me to buy that? Oh, that's 25. Okay. Ooh, and it's only no, wait, it's only ten dollars? Is it only ten dollars? Healing cap. Any healing that the player receives is doubled. What? Uh, I kind of want that. that Increasing is... the effect of one sort of magic with another. All you need is a channel for power, and it's simple enough. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Cool. Sell. Um, where did the axe go? No? Okay. Heal wounds. I don't need to heal because I'm just that awesome. Um, I'm a just saying. And I don't have any more gold, so I can't buy nothing. Guess I want to leave the shop. Oh, this game is so pretty. I like it. It's like I'm hanging out playing D&D &D by myself. I just need to paint my little miniature. You have reached my first champion. A good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child. Kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Um. You shall be found wanting. I don't know. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. I. I got this. Maybe. Let's see what happens. He looks like he hasn't eaten in, like, a 
couple weeks. I'm sure I could wreck his face. It's just this guy though, right? Like he doesn't get like minions. He sounds aggressive. He gets minions! Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter attack. Oh, oh, swing it! No, get out of the way! No! I got hurt! Getting out of the way effectively. Ow, stop it. Don't fuck me. Ugh. Are you down? He's down. Okay. Get it. Run. Ah, he's not running. Yes. Oh, I did it. Oh, I wrecked his face. I totally almost died though. So that wasn't good. That didn't, that wasn't good, guys. That was really bad combat skills. Down into the worms with him. Spider! Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave, poor soul. One champion has been sent to the cabinet. Yet we are only at the start of our road. Get in my cabinet! You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, How I feel about and your that. resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. How I feel about that. None reach the last. We have wagered and you have won. Yeah. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim wait, wait, wait. mine. Wait, 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 wait. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained. Why? We don't need balance. We just need me to win. That's all we need. Boom. As a reward for defeating the bandit jack, you receive these new cards. Oh, do I get all of them? Ooh, jack skulls. Dead Knight's Hall, Dead King's Hall, excuse me, local peasant. I got a local peasant. Like here, just have a local peasant. Devil's Choice, River, and Captain of the Guards. Sweet. Ah, uh, boop it. As a reward for defeating the Bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. Look at all the things. Medium armor, Chains of Rage. I kind of want that. Mercenary contract, medium armor, fortitude's breath, and desperate measures. I kind of like the sound of that, plus the change of rage. Desperate measure measures call for chains of rage. It's fine. Boop it. Okay, for defeating Bandit Jack, I will give you new challenges. Bandit attack. Oh, what's Shall this? We deal again. What? Wait a second. Is that... Now hang on. Hang on. Hang on. How do I save? So I think that was the end of that. So I'm gonna call it an episode, guys. And thanks so much for joining me. I'm Kiri. This has been Hand of Fate. Um, and if you'd like to pick it up, it's on Steam. And it's kind of awesome sauce. So if you like D&D &D and, like, combat games and, like, cards and, like, this guy, because this guy is cool, um, you should go hook it up, you know? And if you enjoyed the video, lay some smack down on that like button for me and share everywhere and you know subscribe to the channel for all the more awesomeness because I play this game and other games and all of the fun stuff so thanks so much guys I'm Kiri I will catch you next time bye